fire ring Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire Went down, down, down And the flames went high And it burns, burns, burns A ring of fire Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out Ring of Fire by the man in black, Johnny Cash. This is a really, really fun song. It's got an interesting timing thing going on that most beginners are going to find a little bit strange. The way I'm going to explain it to you, I think, is the easiest way, but it might not be the most music maths correct way to do it. For example, the intro. I'm going to tell you it's in seven. But it could be like a three and a four or a four and a three, depending on which way you want to look at it. But learning it in seven is going to be the easiest way to make sense, I think, for the whole song. Now, you might have noticed I was playing it finger style there. The reason I was doing that is because I like to try and bring out that little melody there. The which is kind of a bit fancy pants little idea. I'm going to show you a little bit about how to do that. But to start with, we're going to go real simple. I'm going to use a pick. And I'm going to just strum the chords for each beat. The, the way Johnny Cash plays it, within each beat, there's going to be like a bass note and a hit. But we're going to just it's always better to start simple, particularly where there's something like this weird timing thing going on. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. So we'll start simple and then we'll grow the tune as we work on it. So starting off with the intro, the pattern is G, G, C, G, 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 G. So two G's, then one C and then four G's. Okay, la ba da ba da 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 da. So that's where we get our seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then it's exactly the same, but with a D chord instead of the C. La da 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 da. da. Okay, so G G G to C to G to. G da 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 D to C, G two three four. That's it. Relatively simple. Any time we get that little melody, the did 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 did, it's going to be that part in seven with the same chords. When we get into the verse, it does a bar of four and then a bar of seven. Okay, it does that three times and then there's a bar of seven on its own. Now we're getting kind of mathsy here, but I want to point out that it's much more important to listen to the song and to know it musically, to use your musical feel rather than trying to use the maths. I'm explaining the maths because I think having some understanding of kind of how it's put together can really help. But I can be very sure that Johnny Cash wasn't thinking of, you know, playing this bit and then adding in seven. It is just literally, love is a burning thing, da 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 so he's just thinking like here's the bit where I'm singing the the chord change is in an obvious place and then there's the da, 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 da part which is in seven so I am going to explain the math to you and count it and all of that but as soon as you can you want to start trying to just feel it in the music listening to the original recording will definitely help okay if you've never heard the original or you're trying to do it just from reading a page it's going to be very difficult so you want to make sure that you get the song into your musical imagination. So you can kind of hear the song in your head. And the best way of doing that is just to listen to a song a whole heap. So the verse, we're going to have Love is a burning da 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 Okay, so G, two, three, on beat four is the new chord, then the da 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 so all together, we got G is a C chord, G da 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 C to G. It's a bit weird, isn't it? But that's the main hurdle here, because this, the next pattern is exactly the same, but with a D chord. And it makes a D chord, G, 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 D, D to G, two, three. There goes back to the first one. Bound by wild desire, da, 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 da. then there's this anomaly. I fell into a ring of 
fire Or it's just going G, G, D, G, 2, 3, 4 So that last one is different Of course it had to be it Couldn't just all be the same, could it? So let me play that verse all of the way through there with the chords inserted into the words there. So starting off on the G chord. Love is a C chord. G, da, 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 C to G, two, three. And it G to a D chord. G, da, 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 D to G, two, three, four. G. To C to G to D to D C to G two three four G fell into a D of fire two three four and then we're into the chorus. Now the very last G also fits a little climb, going B C D. That's B second fret of the fifth string, C third fret of the fifth string leading to the D chord, but we'll talk a little bit more about that when we've uh, made the strumming pattern a little bit more full. So into the chorus now, the chorus goes back to 4-4, four, four. hooray! Uh, we've got D, 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 now I'm talking beats, so it's one bar of D, 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 then C, C, G, G, so two beats on the C, two beats on the G. That whole pattern is repeated, so D, 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 C, C, G, G. Okay, that's the little sequence that's repeated. Then we go into a whole bar of G, so G, 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 G. Then we've got this other quick change thing going on again. We go G, D, G, 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 D, G, G. Okay, so same pattern, the last two lines. Let me play it along so you can hear it in action, and then I'll explain it again. So, um, D fell in to a C chord, ring of G chord. It went D, D, D. Then C is going to G chord. It went G, 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 a D of G chord, a D of G. And then we're into the next section again. So again, D, 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 C for two beats and G for two, a bar of D, two beats to C and two beats to G. And it's G for a whole bar. G, D, G, G, D, G. It's actually not too hard, that part of it. It's more the verse, the switching between the four and the, the seven, I think is a little bit unusual. It's definitely unusual for this sort of style. And the fact that it was such a big hit, and no one really notices that it's an odd time. It's one of the most beautiful examples of odd time playing, because I've heard this song loads of times, like on the radio, and never noticed that it had that bar of seven in it. I never noticed it before. And it is unusual for big hits to have that kind of thing going on. So my recommendation would be, first of all, get through the whole song playing like that, where you're just playing on the beat and be able to play along with the original recording. So let's just do one now going intro, verse, and chorus. And I'm just going to keep it real straight, then we're going to start talking about fancying the rhythm up, okay? So the intro, G, C, G, 2, 3, 4, G, D, G, 2, 3, 4, G is a C chord, G, da, 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 C to G, and a G's a D chord, G, da, 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 D to G, two, three, four, G, by C to G, da, da, C to G, two, three, four, G goes into a D, G, two, Da da D D D C is going to G chord and it's the same again C is going to G chord and it's a bar of G and the D on B2 and back to G and D to G So that's the song. That's the bones of the song. We got the chords ready. Now we want to talk a little bit about the rhythm. I think the approach of using finger style can be quite an easy one to kind of get going on. It's something that you might want to have a bit of a go at first, even if you don't regularly play finger style or you want to eventually play Johnny Cash pick style. The advantage is that we play the bass note with a thumb and then first finger or all of the fingers. 
give you a nice little click and we're going to do this for each beat so G G C to G two three four G G to D to G two three four love is a burning thing da -da 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 -da. and it makes a fire G da -da 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 D to G G C to G, ba -da -ba -da C to G, and it's G, D, G, two, three, four, and I fell into a burning ring of fire. Went down, 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 and the flame went high, and it burns, burns, burns that ring of fire, that ring of fire. So you can see that you're very easy to kind of, if you've learned it playing it on the beat, to have this thumb playing the bass note, which obviously is the thickest string for the G chord, fifth string for the C, and the open fourth string for the D chord. It's a nice way of introducing that kind of hit. It feels a lot more like the original one. We'll talk a little bit about how we might incorporate that melody idea as well for those that want to do that. If you want to get more into the Johnny Cash approach, you're going to need to use a pick. Using a pick is quite a lot louder. Uh, I haven't been using a pick so much, partly because I'm in an office block, I'm not in my usual studio, and I've got neighbours real close, and they've been super cool, never complained about the noise, but at the same time, I don't want to upset them too much. It is considerably louder using a pick, but it is what Johnny Cash did. He's famous for using the boom chicka, which is boom chicka, boom chicka, boom chicka, boom chicka. So down on the bass strings, chicka is a little strum, boom chicka, boom chicka. So a boom chicka would go for each beat as described. So G, C, G, two, three, four, G, two, D, G. Love is a burning thing. Da -da -ba -da 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 -da. that's kind of his bag really and I think it's cool the problem for me doing that is I can't get the do 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 either but if you want to play straight up Johnny Cash and you've got another guitar player to do that or you happen to have a horn section or somebody who likes singing that little horn melody there or you just don't care and you're going to leave it out altogether then trying to use the pick will be a good one for you it's definitely all about getting the boom chicka uh, it's definitely a feeling of I always think that for strumming patterns like that, a good way to get used to the feeling of it without worrying about the chords too much is just to mute all of the strings. Boom, checka, boom, checka, boom, checka, boom. And then trying to make it feel good. That's real important. It's not boom, checka, boom, checka, boom, checka, boom, checka. You feel if I get all tense. It's just not the same, isn't it? It's on the horse a little bit. definitely got a certain sort of feel that you want to try and capture and it's sometimes easier to, if you take the chords away just to work on that strumming pattern on its, on its own and then apply it afterwards but if you've done the if you've been with me so far you've followed along and you know what the chords are adding in the boom chick is probably not going to be that difficult okay so let's have a chat about adding that melody in i'm not going to go into too much detail about exactly the way i do it because it's kind of complicated and i find it really difficult to explain but i'll give you the bones and then you'll just have to play about and see if you can uh, figure it out the important part is figuring out where the melody is relative to the chord shape. So we've got here the, I'm using a G chord using my third finger on the third fret, the thicker string and little finger, third fret on the second string. And that's the melody note there. La da da da, that's a D. Da ba ba, E, thinner string. C, which is the first fret of the second string. 
and then back to that D note. Du, 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 da, du, da, it's the melody. Da, 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 now, if I'm doing it with a, I'll try and slow it down. Yeah, I'm going together, flick, pick, bass, flick. So to get, obviously, I can play it with the thumb. Down. And now I'm doing a hit with either my, I often use my second finger, but sometimes my first. And then picking it again straight away. One, two, and bass. Up, down, together, flick, up, bass, up, flick. Then, again, I'm playing the bass note and picking it. I seem to be using my third finger now. I thought I was using my second finger earlier. But to get the C, I'm using a hit down with my second finger. And then I play again, thumb, second finger playing the D melody note together. This pattern. If you want to get more into this, I've got, actually got a whole lesson on it. I think it's called Percussive Fingerstyle. It's the title over on the website. And it'll, it's a, quite a long lesson. It goes through a bunch of exercises to develop this. Where I'm kind of bringing out melody notes within the pattern, which is exactly what I'm using here to... Now here, I've gone to G, I want the B note, the melody. Open, first fret, first fret, second string, second fret, third string, back to the open. Sorry. To D7. That's why I'm after that note. Da, boo. It has to be a D7. Okay, the sound, I'm pretty sure Johnny Cash is just playing a regular D, but the melody of that uh, thing is the C, which makes it D7. G, D7, and then we've got this note A, but that would be a hit. Use my first finger to hit down on that note A. Again, the whole sequence. one of those things that once you get used to doing it but it, I guess that's like everything isn't it when, when you've practiced it this is quite a tricky technique and not something I'd recommend for beginners it's a very effective technique for me it's pitched more at a kind of an intermediate level player who's have had already a little bit of finger style practice without that you will find it quite challenging anyway Cracking song, lots of different levels to approach and a really good exercise in learning about different time signatures and being able to apply that in a musical fashion without it sounding all kind of jerky, which for many people playing in a lot of time kind of gets a little bit odd feeling. Anyway, if you happen to be over on YouTube, I really appreciate you hitting the subscribe button, slapping me a like. Let me know in the comments what other Johnny Cash songs you'd like me to do for you. So many great songs from the man in black there. Um, if you're over on the website, you'll probably find plenty of Johnny Cash songs already as well. There'll probably be some, unless YouTube changed their formatting, there'll be some popping up in the screen next to me right now. I really hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you plenty more very soon. You'll take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.